Let's talk about QuickBooks self-employed because you hear a lot of buzz, a lot of uh, pros and cons, people talk about stuff and a lot of folks are have, they have no idea what they're talking about. So in today's, kind of, in today's conversation, I really want to clarify everything for everybody. I want to crystallize the conversation around QuickBooks self-employed. So here's the overview I want you to really pay attention to. So when you think about QuickBooks self-employed, this is basically an online accounting tool specifically for freelancers, solopreneurs, independent contractors, and sole proprietors. So if you are in that category, you will really love QuickBooks self-employed, okay? And uh, so one thing I want to say is that you, if you, so if you are, let's say you are a single member LLC, you are a single member S corporation, you are, you are a contractor, you will, so this is the target audience for QuickBooks self-employed. In addition to tracking your expenses and invoices, the software automatically tracks your mileage, allows you to easily pay quarterly taxes, generate financial reports, and can assign expenses to Schedule C categories, okay? And, and what I want to say here is that when we talk about uh, QuickBooks, QuickBooks self-employed, we are speaking about a series of pros, but also cons. Let's quickly go through that. What are the advantages and disadvantages of uh, QuickBooks self-employed? So here are a few pros that we really believe are prominent. So you have ease of easy to to use. Ease of use is really fantastic. UX and UI when it comes to QuickBooks self-employed, fantastic. You have automatic mileage tracking. You have affordability in terms of uh, like if, if you want to have like personalized personalized bookkeeping support, this is affordable. Okay? So QuickBooks is really giving you uh, some kind of, uh, I would say, um, flexibility here. So we, we love that a lot. So that's for most of the pros. What about the cons here? Well, it's not suitable for growing businesses. I mean, of course, it's self-employed. So once you start scaling, you have to really switch to another QuickBooks uh, accounting software, or you have to be basically switch to another provider altogether. And you cannot migrate QuickBooks self-employed to a system with double entry accounting. This is so important, okay? And it's more expensive than top competitors, such as Wave Accounting, for example, or even Zero for that matter, okay? Boss, welcome back to the show. It's really a pleasure to have you here. And, and we're having a quick convo today about QuickBooks self-employed. And one thing I want to say here is that it, overall, when you think about QuickBooks self-employed, it is for the self-employed. Okay. And you cannot, if you were to grow, let alone you have a, a larger business and you want to migrate, it's not going to work. Okay. So choose wisely. So I want to talk to you about the steps, okay? The thing I want to say, it's really important to 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 to, uh, to make sure you understand that when we talk about QuickBooks Self-Employed, this is a tool that will, that's designed to help freelancers and sole proprietors keep tabs on income, expenses, and tax obligations, okay? So you simply swipe left to mark a transaction as business versus personal and categorize it to align with IRS filing categories. This is kind of cool. And the web and app-based service work, works well for people with side hustles or those just starting down the self-employment track. But it will not scale with your business. I want to insist on that. QuickBooks Self-Employed will not scale with your business. And so switching services could prove a hassle, okay? So if you want to... So my... Our review, our advice to you is you want to skip the self-employed version and go straight to QuickBooks Online if you think you will outgrow QuickBooks Self-Employed's basic reports and features, okay? So when you think about QuickBooks Self-Employed, think about the fact that you have a price that starts at around $15 per, per month. You can receive 15% off the first, free, the first three months and the maximum number of user, one. So it's only you, it's for self-employed, okay? Of course, you can send email invites to your accountant, not a problem, or your CPA, not a problem. And But the thing is that it's not very easy to scale. You will not, you will need to switch services as your business grows. You can upgrade to a QuickBooks Online, but you may need to manually move your data. Is this, is this what you wanna really do? Hmm, I, I don't think so. So really think deep before you make a decision, okay? And it's really easy easy to use, yes, of course. Once you get the hang of setting rules to automate expense tracking, everything runs smoothly. Now, boss, I wanna quickly remind you of today's topic. We're having a conversation about uh, QuickBooks Self-Employed. Here is, an, a, a, let's say, a, a granular review. So you have a clear idea what you're getting yourself into if you go with QuickBooks Self-Employed, okay? Now you do have, uh, one thing you need to understand here is that if, you, if you're trying to segregate between personal and business accounts, you will love QuickBooks, you will love this tool. 
this quick was self-employed okay you actually uh you were able to categorize transactions you were able to uh to 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 track uh your expenses you, you once you, the thing is once you connect your accounts checking accounts credit cards and paypal you can easily see all of your income and expenses in one place you'll need to invest some time in organizing those transactions though at least at the onset and you can do this one or two ways manually assign income and expenses as business or personal and categorize them or create rules to automate the process so beyond tracking and categorizing expenses, you can log mileage and calculate relevant deductions too. You can also create, send, and track invoices via QuickBooks Self-Employed, though the service allows minimal customization and doesn't support estimates. So uh, so yeah, and, and this tool can also produce the following business reports. So mileage log, profit and loss, receipts, tax summary, and tax details. <laughs> So what is the added value here? So when you think about uh, crypto self-employed, I mean, this tool does a lot of things when it comes to uh, helping you segregate your personal affairs fr from your business affairs, okay? And uh, y the thing is, you can also have, uh, you can automate transactions if you, you can automate transactions if you set it, if you do things the, the right way, and you are able to also simplify your taxes. In our view, those are important document, there are important, um, I, I would say, doc regulatory documentation requirements that really help because if you're able to se separate your uh, account, your personal accounting from your business accounting, then you are really in compliance with the IRS, with, with the IRS, right? So simply swipe left for business. So using the QuickBooks Self-Employed app, you quickly mark income and expenses as business or personal with a swipe of your finger. You can also split transactions by percentage or dollar amount, designating, designating a portion as business versus personal. Okay, and now if you had enough with swiping, you can set rules to automatically assign and categorize transactions. And, we, and you can tell QuickBooks that deposits from, let's say, a specific clients, for example, should always be uh, marked as business income, or that transaction at Staples or, yeah, or Costco should always be designated as business office expenses. And rules can be applied re retroactively, and you can also mark a specific bank account as mostly business to take some of the legwork out of organizing your books. What I'm trying to say here is that, you know, it, you know, let's say automating things in uh, QuickBooks self-employed can be a little tedious at the beginning, but once you really have done things, uh, you, you set things up properly, it's really, it really runs smoothly, not a problem at all. And you can also set it and forget it, mileage deductions. So no, no need to uh, manually calculate mileage deductions for every work related trips. And uh, what will happen here is that QuickBooks self-employed will automatically do the math for you using the current IRS mileage rate just opt into a mileage tracking via the app to automatically log all your all of your car travel. You can then mark which trips were business related, and uh, QuickBooks keeps a running tally of business miles and the corresponding deduction. And you can also manually enter uh, trips using the app or web service. And some users report issues with missed trips and uh, inaccurate mileage tracking. So keep tabs on your trip log to ensure precise records. And so you can also categorize expenses. You can simplify taxes. So overall, when you think about the added value here, this is this is what you, I want you to think about. Now there are a few things I want to I want to mention. So if you are going to use QuickBooks Self-Employed, there are a lot of things you need to pay attention to. So first of all. The, the tool does not accommodate multiple businesses. So right now, if you are, like, let's say you have a, you are like a serial entrepreneur, right? You have a lot of gigs going on, a lot of businesses, and you want to use uh, QuickBooks Self-Employed for all those uh, businesses, it's not going to work. It's just a lot better to uh, switch to uh, QuickBooks Online. It's just a lot better. You have more flexibility there. You have more uh, scalability potential there. Okay, so entrepreneurs with more than one company need to create and pay for a separate QuickBooks self-employed account for each business. This is true with uh, QuickBooks Online as well, but with that version, you can use a single login and toggle between your businesses. So since QuickBooks self-employed doesn't have that feature, you have to maintain separate emails and login info. That, this means what? It means that, for example, let's say when you want to switch between accounts, you need to log out, uh, log out of one account, then log into the other. Okay, so this is, I mean, maybe for you, it's not really a big deal, but for, for some people, it's really complicated, especially let's say you have five different businesses. Can you imagine you have to really come up with five different emails, maybe five different Gmail, Gmail accounts, 
and then you have to create five different profiles and then if you want to uh, let's say you want to uh, review all of all of your five businesses in one sitting you have to really uh, switch from one account to another you know it, this could be a little tedious i mean for some i mean at least for our team members when we tried it out it could be a little tedious maybe for you it's not but uh yeah so just think about that and it's very difficult to scale i think i know i've been saying this throughout this show but i want to uh reiterate it because i don't want people to, to be confused and to say well you know I, I didn't know about this this part whatever no 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 it is very 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 difficult to scale if you go with uh quick with self-employed you're not going to be able to to, uh, to scale the tool does not have multiple tiers that you can grow into. Instead, when you outgrow the service, you need to switch solutions. So doing so can be complicated even if you stay within the QuickBooks universe. You may, you may need to manually move your data by exporting, then importing data into your new QuickBooks account. And mileage data cannot be imported into a new QuickBooks account. So you will need to manually add each trip. So this is something you need to really pay attention to. Now, you cannot revert back to QuickBooks self-employed if you make the move to QuickBooks online. So it's really important. So once you go from uh, self-employed to online, you can't go back. What about the pricing here? Let's have a conversation about the pricing. So when, when, when you think, you can see on the screen here, so one thing I want to say here is that as of the as, as of the date of this show, you can get fifty percent off any quick, any uh, QuickBooks self-employed subscription for the first three months. This is kind of cool, okay? So the in terms of pricing here, you have the self-employed where they charge you fifteen dollars per month. So here you can automatically track mileage, separate business and personal expenses. You can automatically uh, calculate quarterly uh, estimated taxes. You can organize uh, expenses into Schedule C categories. You can send and track basic invoices. This is really, really cool. And uh, you have the self-employed tax bundle that will co cost you about uh, $25. So here you have the, the core plan features. Plus, you can pay quarterly taxes online with QuickBooks. You can import data into a TurboTax. You have one state and one federal tax return filing included. And then you have the self-employed live tax bundle. Those will cost you about $35 a month. You have the tax bundle features plus access to TurboTax live experts and you have a CPA review your tax return. So this is uh, you can see here the uh, the constellation of services offered here. And uh, by the way, boss, I want to quickly remind you of uh, today's topic. We are having a conversation about QuickBooks self-employed. This is an in-depth review of uh, QuickBooks self-employed, the tool. So you have a clear idea. So when you close your eyes, somebody would ask you, what is the pricing when it comes to uh, QuickBooks self-employed? You have three you have three plans you have the self-employed the self-employed tax bundle and then you have the self-employed live tax bundle okay now you just got to ask yourself what's really better for you and what, what kind of needs you have right now so the self-employed plans the self-employed plan lets you keep your business and personal expenses separate so you'll be able to connect your business credit card to automatically track transactions and the accounting software will also help you maximize your schedule c deductions and will automatically calculate your quarterly tax estimates now, the self-employed tax bundle is one tier up, right? So this plan comes with a subscription to TurboTax so you can file one state tax return and a federal tax return directly from your account. And this plan is ideal for those who want to integrate their tax filing with their accounting software. And then you have the self-employed live tax bundle is the best option if you want live tax support. So for an additional 15, 11 to $15 per month, you will have unlimited access to a CPA to a CPA to answer tax questions throughout the year. So, and you'll also be able to have your final tax return reviewed by, by a professional. So this plan is great for business owners who want to be able to ask an accountant for support when questions uh, come up. Let's talk about the arrivals because uh, QuickBooks self-employed is not the only player in this field when it comes to uh, solopreneurs when it comes to let's say single member LLCs you have a lot of players out there so I want to quickly compare and contrast uh, two other players here I want to I want to contrast uh, Wave Accounting FreshBooks to uh, QuickBooks Self-Employed so w when we think about free trial of course you have a 30-day free trial in uh, QuickBooks Self-Employed something that you, you you also have in FreshBooks in Wave Accounting it's just free so the invoicing software and the accounting software are both free so basically right off the bat wave accounting is a, is a, is way better than uh quickbooks 
and Fresh Bros. Is there a free version of uh, QuickBooks? No, there is no free version of QuickBooks and neither is for Fresh Bros. You do have a free version for Wave Accounting. In terms of the starting price, it's $15. It's the same price you have with the Fresh Bros. And uh, for Wave, everything is free. The number of user, you have one user in all three of them, one user. Now, if you want, for FreshBooks, if you want to add another, another, let's say you want to add a user, you have to pay $10 extra for each additional user. And do you have a live book, bookkeeping support? Well, if you go with the tax model, the live tax model, yes, because, uh, you know, but then you have to pay $35 per month. And uh, the thing is, if you want the live bookkeeping support, you get it for like $149 per month through Wave. So Wave, the software is free, but if you need bookkeeping help, you have to pay for it. And FreshBooks does not offer this uh, capability here. In terms of customer support, you have uh, you have the whole nine yards with all three players. So for QuickBooks self-employed, you have uh, live chat, video tutorials, you have phone and email support, not a problem. For Wave Accounting, you have a live chat self-serve support through the help center and Mave, the automated chat bot. And uh, for FreshBooks, you have a phone and email support, live chat, knowledge base, and help center. So this is kind of cool. So one thing I want to say here is that you got to ask yourself what's important for you, okay? And uh, basically, if you need, just one, one thing I want to say here is that if you need more robust, more robust features, or you want to have a set of scalable plans, it's just a lot better to switch to QuickBooks online or even Wave. But because uh, QuickBooks self-employed, it's not going to give you that uh, constellation of uh, customizations, that constellation of um, features, that constellation of scalability. So what is the verdict here? So the question, the big question is, the $1 million question here is that, is QuickBooks self-employed right for you or your business? Well. Basically, I would say yes, we would, you know, and we've been researching this for the last few years now, and our team is uh, standing behind uh, QuickBooks. The only thing is the tool is is really serving a niche. So QuickBooks self-employed is best suited if you are a freelancer, is best suited to you. If you are, let's say, a freelancer, solopreneur, and or let's say you are a consultant, and you just want to have an easy to use online accounting tool to keep track of your business's finances. So given that the cost is high compared to free services like Wave, this tool is best suited for business owners who want a mileage tracker or the ability to ask a CPA accounting questions as they come up in real time. Okay, so this is really what it is. And there is, I just want to insist, there is a difference between QuickBooks and uh, QuickBooks self-employed because uh, the self-employed is designed for freelancers, solopreneurs and independent contractors. Okay, and so if you're in that category, you want to separate your business and personal expenses, as well as basic accounting and invoicing capabilities, this is the tool for you. Now, QuickBooks Online is a separate service designed for small business owners who need more extensive features, such as double entry accounting. So, and uh, so if, if you are thinking about something that is uh, gap compliance, US gap compliance, I would say that uh, QuickBooks Online is better. Okay, so if you want to, like, let's say you want to maybe reach out to investors later on, or you want to get a loan, you want to uh, you want to have a proper set of financial uh, statements, then you want to go with uh, QuickBooks Online because the self-employed does not offer as many uh, features as needed when it comes to really, like, when it comes to regulatory compliance, when it comes to uh, compliance with uh, financial accounting and reporting rules, and so on and so forth. Okay, and the thing is that you can use QuickBooks for your home or personal expenses such as managing groceries and other home bills, also not a problem. Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. In today's conversation, I was quickly talking to you about QuickBooks Self-Employed, and this was a review, an in-depth review. And I spoke, I gave you an overview, the steps, the added value, the pricing, the rivals, and the verdict. Thank you. God bless you. I'll speak to you another time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous.